All right, getting started with the Anycubic i3 Mega. So the power switch is over on the left-hand side. And unlike most of the Creality Ender series, it is a touch series. So first thing you want to do is hit Tools, hit the Access, and as far as the axes, we want to hit Home. So we're going to manually level the bed to make sure everything is nice and even so we get that solid first layer. Okay, so it has gone through its homing process. So we hit the back arrow, back arrow on the tool screen, go to setup, and we want to turn the motor off. So now we can move the bed and the head easily to avoid any damage. So normally what I do is I bring the extruder in just a little bit. And so I'm going to move my hands here. So we're just using a standard sheet of paper. I'm going to make sure that we can slide that around with a little bit of tension so that might be a little tight. That's too loose. So that's pretty good. Then we'll keep the paper underneath and we'll slide over to the other corner. And once again, keeping it in about an inch, up about an inch. Now you can see that the paper doesn't move, so it's too close. So we'll just gently adjust that. And that seems like it's got a little bit of grip. And we'll do the back right corner. And once again, a little too tight. So adjusting the little knob on the spring. Okay, that seems real nice. Then we'll go back over to the other corner. This is the fourth corner, once again, off about an inch, up about an inch. Oh, that one's real good. So now we'll repeat the process one more time just to make sure nothing has moved because a lot of times you do one side and it'll affect the clockwise. So if we want to call it six o'clock, that'll affect the 12 o'clock and then three o'clock will affect the nine o'clock. So that seems pretty good. You can see this has gotten sloppy. So I'm just going to adjust that a little bit. That's good. So move the bed back to the other side. Okay, that stayed real nice. That stayed good. Okay, that's nice. And that's good. I'm going to call that good. So then what we need to do is preheat our filament. So once again, that is back on the tools side. Hit filament, and the filament is already in. So we'll hit the preheat. We're using PLA, so PLA filament. And this has a warm-up temperature on the Anycubic. We set it to 215 degrees and the bed temperature at 65 degrees. Those are Celsius. So once it does get up to temperature, I do believe the printing temperature on the extruder is 200 degrees and the bed will drop to 60 degrees Celsius. So that way we get a nice solid bite. Especially on that first layer. First layer is critical. We want to make sure that's on nice and solid so things don't start shifting on us. And this does have the Anycubic glass bed. So it's got very good adhesion. 
but a lot of times what we'll do is we'll use a, a glue stick. So this is just a generic pen plus gear. Uh, picked up, I believe, a 12-pack over at Walmart for like $3.47 on their back-to-school savings. So what we'll like to do is put a little coating of the glue, especially on the area that's going to be printed. And we let that sit. We want that bed to be cool before we put that glue on, otherwise it'll kind of melt. So once that glue sets up and the bed was cool, you know, just give it like maybe five, six minutes. And then we go into this preheat process. So we can see that our temp went up to 215 on the, the head of the extruder. Now it's going to back down. And our bed temperature is almost at 65 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and print an object. So we would use our back arrow, back arrow. Now we go to the print. And I think what we're going to try here, it's been printing some GoPro stuff. So we're just going to do a quick backpack mount. So all we do is pick it. So we see our bed temperature is sitting at 58 degrees, so it's almost at the 60. And the extruder of the head sitting at 213, 214, now back at 215. And it should be ready for it to fire up. There we go. So once it does reach its preset temperatures, it's going to lay down its first line. So it does its double tap. It's now it's laying down its guideline. Coming back so everything looks nice and solid. And there we go. So that's it. So that's the complete how to set up your AnyCubic i3 Mega. Now, one other thing is with the part that pulls in the filament, it's got a really nasty angle. So what we ended up doing is we built our own little spool holder. Hopefully you guys can see that. So it's just a base little two by eight solid block and then a little one by four. <clears throat> then we screwed in a little wooden dowel. And then we have a pin on the outside so the spool doesn't fall off. But that gives a nice direct line right into the mechanism pulling it in. And then we did upgrade the tube itself to the higher temperature and that does get shoved all the way down to the inside of the extruder which guides in the filament nicely. So that's it. Hopefully you guys got something out of this. And if you do, do a like and please subscribe so we're always doing a ton of these how-to videos. So especially some of the older type of gear, sometimes there's not a lot of information around. And so just want to be helpful. So educational and hopefully entertaining. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.